Link, and then we're going to see the Kirby. Yeah, from Walk. And both of them green, looking to use that camouflage up in yeah. the uh, tree. But uh, I think uh, from Link's standpoint, this is generally like the high tier matchup uh, I think most Links are familiar with because the projectile game is so strong against Kirby's uh, poor horizontal mobility. Mm -hmm. I think Link and Samus are the best low tiers against like the puffball characters, even though the puffball characters have great matchups against top tiers and they're considered higher tier themselves. Kirby and Jigglypuff, they they can have some trouble with Link and Samus, but Wok having a great start. Uh, it's still favored in his matchup, uh, but let's see. I don't know who is favored in the player here. Great. Yeah, and uh, you know Kirby, like the the problem with this matchup is like you have to get in on Link, and you can't be doing that as well. Yeah, but um. He was just like getting four, in on four steps into the future there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> getting in on Link is just really difficult. Uh, as we see there, like a lot of his aerials will trade with Bomb. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're exhausting all your jumps to avoid the aerials, if Link can catch you out of that, it can put you in a terrible spot. And, and of course, some... that sword is such a big tool for Link in this matchup. The same reason why Pikachu is so good against Kirby is his disjoint, his tail is basically a sword, and Link has that on almost all of his moves, so... You can get solid hits in with that. You can keep Kirby out at that mid-range as well as the long range. And Wok getting in, but uh, not really like these conversions here. Um, but still opts for that there. And, uh, you know, there we saw Link just kind of making it really hard for Kirby to edge guard, uh, putting out that boomerang to force either a move or a shield to defend himself, which gave him a free spot on ledge. Multi-ball probably looking for a stray hit at this point, uh, just for a KO. The up is not going to do it. Uh, it's his weakest, I think it's his weakest aerial besides uh, Nair. Yeah, um, but that, those two moves are definitely more combo moves than KO moves. But yeah. It's not It's not impossible to see it. Nair can get the gimps near the ledge, and up air will kill a pretty high percent on a really low, low, light character. So. Yeah, uh, if uh, Link's going for that KO on a stray hit, probably looking for either forward, uh, forward air, down air, or up B. Yeah. Pretty even game. Yeah, I like the way Multiball is just kind of moving around the stage here, uh, not really committing to one spot. Um, I think he's trying to expose Wok's lack of matchup knowledge, especially against characters like Link, because even if, like we said, they're low tiers, if you never play them, you're not familiar with other little tricks, and Link definitely has them up his sleeve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Multiball has some nice laps going. He knows exactly where he wants to go, throws out his boomerang and the bomb. Yeah, and really forcing Wok to chase him, uh, but not giving him really any room to do so. And so quick on that conversion as well. We see that great get-up attack from Link, which I believe is only uh, vulnerable during the animation where the sword comes out. Nice soft throw on the bomb. Hit him exactly where he wanted to. Ooh, risky up E, yeah. though. Finds it pays off back. for him, though. Yep. No, no jumps. jumps here. Nope. Multiball taking game one. And uh, Walk opting to stay Kirby here. Um, I think it's his best bet. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, he's tried and true Kirby main. I haven't really seen him use much since I met him a couple years back. Um, but like you he, said, I think this is, he just needs to kind of grind it out and learn the matchup here where he can. And uh, I'm sure he is picking up a little bit. If you're rocking the Kirby hat, you can't switch off. Oh, no. Especially the green one. Right. That's so, you know, specific. <laughs> My favorite Kirby too, though. It's the best one. Good chase by Multiball, getting the read on the roll. And uh, good use of jumps there from Wok. Even though he exhausted all of them, uh, it's what he needed to do to kind of avoid all those uh, air, um, projectiles. But Multiball still just all over him, just punishing that landing.
Oh, and some defensive jabs here from Wok. I don't think it's going to break, but we'll get a poke here. Yeah. Yep. Well, the ball respects it. Just gets his space back. And uh, I don't think Wok knows that you can't really aerial the bombs. Yeah. You can do so with the boomerangs, but that's kind of the difference is uh, bombs, you just either have to shield or avoid them. Right. And as we saw there, even though the boomerang animation kept going, went uh, straight through the back air. Yeah. And a good quick conversion there. And Wok's still not all too familiar with how to edge guard Link. It's kind of tricky because he covers that good space on either side of him with the sword. So you kind of have to be at a pretty particular range or directly above him, which Kirby's good at. But if you're respecting Link a lot, oh, there it is. Yeah. Back air also really disjointed. So it gets the job done against a lot of characters. I mean, uh, Link does get a lot of flag for his recovery, but I think he has one of the better ones if he has his jump and is close to the stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, as specific as that sounds, it's a... Uh, you know. It's a good blessing, at least. Yep. Yeah. A lot of characters don't have the luxury of just covering that far onto stage with their up B. Yeah, and with like such a high knockback move that will hit him away and just uh, give you time to think on the ledge. And uh, despite all that, uh, I don't think Wai Wok is looking too great in the matchup, but he does have a lead here. Yeah, he's using his fundamentals right now to kind of carry him through this game. And we did see that up air KO from Link. Yeah, we also had the SD from Wok in uh, game one, so that could be the difference here. The lack of here, you know. Good stuff by Ultiball, bringing it all the way back, racking up the damage of those projectiles. Walk didn't do as good of a job as like he has been of staying away from them. He took a lot of damage unnecessarily just from not optimal spacing and movement. And the bolt of ball is going to make it back. Going to use his ledge invincibility. Perfect yeah. timing. Yeah. And the bomb to help cover it as well. I really like watching Link mains because there's so many like uh, intricate things with Nuances, their... Nuances, yeah. yeah. They're, um, they're so aware of so many things. And it's like you you have to be on their level of awareness, I think, if uh, you're kind of at an even playing level with them. Link's forward air is so satisfying to hit. <laughs> yeah, it's like such a big hitbox, too. Yeah. And it hits a little behind him. Yeah. And Wok in a, not a great position here. Oh, and just charging in, just really wanting to take this match now. And then we saw Walk again just not being able to punish that uh, up B recovery. Still having some jumps to play with here. Uh, another interesting to note about, uh, oh shoot, we got, got a conversion. Very smart from Walk. Good, good weight. Uh, I think he's figuring out that he has to stay above the up B to really punish it. Right. Um, but an interesting note. An interesting note about uh, Link's uh, aerials, though, um, or not aerials, his uh, projectiles, mm -hmm. is bomb never goes away when it's thrown, but right. boomerang can actually disappear depending on how the camera moves. Okay. Um, yeah, it'll just not come back. Yeah, which yeah. is uh, something you kind of want if you're facing Link. Big opening for Walk. And those nairs just barely missing on Link. Multi-ball just uh, running away, maintaining his space once again. Probably wanted down air there after that bomb. Comes out a little bit quicker and uh, would have hit him before the tech in place. And compared to game one, uh, I think Wok's adjustments have been pretty great. <laughs> and uh, great, great use of that knowledge we were talking about. Uh, like dashing off the ledge and using that boomerang will give uh, Link just a huge boost in uh, horizontal mobility. And nowhere for Wok to go, and he just gets punished. Oh, unfortunate. I mean, it kind of saved him in a way, put him back on stage, but Wok got a little bit of extra damage there. Oh, and that bomb just uh, not only clipping Wok, but blowing up on him, too. And 
and great defensive uh, dare there. Walk just barely, uh, barely staying out of a uh, multi-ball space. Multi-ball laying the pressure at the ledge, but yeah, Walk was backwards, so yep. you can turn yourself around with multi-jump characters like Kirby and Jigglypuff, but he didn't do it. Um, barely just misses it and then gets KO'd for it, but. Yeah, finds a KO on multi-ball, so only down by a stock. And we saw the, the leads kind of shift back and forth these past two games, so we'll see. It's really hard to say who's going to win. The leads don't mean as much in this set. Definitely not. Um, Walk doesn't really need much to convert into a kill, but uh, multi-ball is just really all over him. And Walk, it doesn't really... Doesn't seem like he has a good plan uh, for how to get in right now. Yeah, he's getting actually destroyed by these projectiles from full screen. Yeah. Like, which shouldn't be happening. You and have they, the most time to react to these kind of things from far away. And even like full screen bombs, you shouldn't be getting hit by like that. But again, you got to learn the matchup. You got to figure it out the hard way. Mm -hmm. I think you kind of have that sweet spot, like uh, range against Link, where you don't. Uh, sometimes being right in his face is tough because uh, his defensive uh, tilts and aerials can uh, put you in a bad spot. Mm -hmm. But sort of in between where the projectiles aren't going to do much and you can float in with aerials help right. out. Uh, good adjustment from Walk there. Uh, finally seeing some edge guard situations pay off for him. It's going to need a little more than this though. Here comes the bomb. Good bit shield, but multi-ball getting some damage because of it. Yeah, uh, it was a smart idea, but just happened to pay off more for multi-ball than Walk here. And no tech, so uh, Walk can turn this into something. And that back air is such a big hitbox above Kirby's head, making it an even game here. Last one stock, stock situation, piece. exactly. We saw a three stock to one lead for multi-ball, but Walk doing a great job of bringing it back. Maybe multi-ball getting a little bit too comfortable. We need to see him set up his zoning tools again. We saw that a couple stocks ago, and it really paid off. Oh, clanks with the boomerang. And throws away that bomb just before it blows up. Uh, Multi-ball not wanting to take it, uh, any unnecessary damage here. Yeah, he's not approaching, but he's staying so close to the ledge that it's so risky. Yeah, and that up, uh, up smash finally paying off for Link. Um, kind of hard to time since you have to hit the last hit before any real knockback happens. Mm -hmm. um, it's a generally a pretty good combo starter if you can get it going, this though. This is bad for Link. Shield he's at break. zero. I need to see some crazy DI right now. Oh, he's not DIing very much. Oh, he is on his hands, but... Okay, Link is just so heavy. He's the fastest baller in the game. And that and is going to be it. Yeah, multi-ball closes it out. A little bit of fist pump. 